2K Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. Today's coverage of the Tall Palms Classic is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam in the booth and we've got John McCarthy down on the course. Thanks Luke, so pleased to be here at the Drew Mariah Club today and what a way to start your day with this long par four staring deep into the downtown area. Oh my goodness, can't wait to see what happens here today. good shot there and this shot from about 150 yards out straight down wind tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Well, oh, that was over clubbed. That's ah, a little wayward. Well, he tried to fade it in there, but just didn't commit to it. And here we are with the third shot. That looked good for a long time. Well, this would be a great power putt if you can make this. That's a good putt to hold any day of the week. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. <laughs> Starting the round at even par. find ourselves on a par three here.
opting for the six iron. Come on, get down. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. That was handy holding out from there. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Why not take another look at that effort? <laughs> Currently one under for the event. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. That one's heading down Broadway. Second shot here on the third. Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough. I like that, didn't you? And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, what a shot! Mark it down as an eagle. Oh, trying to hit a little punch shot, and they do to perfection. What a shot indeed. Let's get back to it, shall we? That's just about three feet away. This one's looking good. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. 
He's currently tied for third. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. The tee is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. Good-looking shot, this. A couple under at this stage. Currently tied for third. Going with the hybrid. That's not the outcome they were after. Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. was going in certainly makes putting easy if you can chip it that close just eyeballing that one trying to make it if he makes this he'll save his par and the putt drops and we're moving on our current leader is up by three shots at the fifth hole. The tee is yours. Luke, that's a stonking drive. Second shot here on the fifth. This looks to be heading to the green. Uh-oh, we're starting to hear roars from another part of the course. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Well, down on the sixth hole, this is Ian Poulter's next shot. Ow! Well, that shot took some serious skill. A lovely shot into a few feet. Second spot on the leaderboard, or at least a share of it, if you can hold this. Oh. 
It was on a good line. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Gary Woodland currently leads the field. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Looks like they put a good pass on that one. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. That was a gallant attempt. And that should secure the par. Well done. Gary Woodland is atop the leaderboard. Now a two-stroke lead. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Absolutely tattooed that one. Three wins already this season. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? This is a dicey lie, guys. Really deep rough here, and uh, it's really thick, too. Hopefully they, can, uh, hopefully they can deal with this and be on their way shortly. You can hear the excitement in the air. It's starting to build. That's some good golf right there. Let's take a look at Kevin Kisner's effort from earlier. This is his third. A 
Oh, that's a cracking good shot, as they say over there in UK. Good look at Birdie here. Oh, just missed. An opportunity to make their par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Now, three strokes back after that hole. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. Just needs this one to kick right. Yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Look at this. Nice charge of speed. You should be proud of that one. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Amman on the ground. John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, I'm down here on the ninth hole. This is Ian Poulter. Getting ready to play their third. A shot almost went in the bucket. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Gary Woodland is atop the leaderboard with a two stroke advantage. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Heading for the fairway. <laughs> Lining up from around 160 yards. Three behind our leader. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Oh, well done. 
And you've left yourself a long way between the holes, so let's get this one close. Okay, steady now. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Looking good. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. To me, the short par four is the most underrated hole in all of golf. They're trailing heading into the short par four. Do they take it on to the layup? How much do they trust their swing right now? We'll find out. Second shot here at the 10th. Nicely done. Let's head over to the 11th. Even for the day, in a share of ninth position. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Oh, absolutely flushed. Okay, let's get back to the action. 11 feet to the cup. This one's online. Well done. Take the birdie. And with that, we'll move to three under par. Our leader is up by four shots now. And now teeing off on this par four hole. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Playing from around 150 yards here. Four strokes off the lead.
and choosing the eight iron here. That's a pretty handy shot. And not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Birdie at the last. This for another. Right by the hole. Just three feet to the cup. Good putt, that. And Gary Woodland is currently in the lead. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Wonderfully played. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, I'm down on hole number 14. This is Kevin Kisner's next shot. Just didn't drop. Let's return to live play now. This shot from 120 yards. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Going with the pitching wedge here. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Ouch, that hurts. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. off here on the 13th hole. Wow. They let the big dog eat on that one. Woof. Second shot here on the 13th.
Always like it when they take the big dog and let it rip from the middle of the fairway. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Putting for Eagle here. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top 10 all day long because of it. And hammer hands that'll ruin any putter's stats this one's for birdie and that's their fourth birdie of the day and that will take him to four under He's currently in the second position. Well, now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. This tournament's coming alive. I wonder what just went down. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. And coming up well short. And this is a great opportunity, a great look from long range. Good smooth stroke. He's been dialed in all day on the greens, and there's yet another example. Not far from the green here, just in the greenside rough. Oh, Rich, a shot for the ages. Chip in for birdie. That's always a nice feeling. And it's time to recap that play. And as the school card suggests, heading up the leaderboard. arrived at a par four standing on this par four and leading what's the strategy what's going on through their mind attack it or lay back
and that's a high caliber shot. Time now to play the second shot on the 15th hole. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. And here we are with the third shot. This is a par putt. And with that, now at five under with a few holes to play. Hang on to your hat, folks. We're on for a wild ride. He's currently in a share of top spot. This hole is a par three. Go with a three wood here. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Yeah, trying to draw that one in there, but not committing to it, leaving it out. Well, Rich, this won't come as a big surprise, will it? Because there's a lot of people talking about this player. They've been performing beautifully all season. And many think they can win this event. It's never a surprise when you speak this player's name. They've been so good all year long. They've got to be one of the favorites, not only for this tournament, but for also for the season-long FedEx Cup. Gee, there's some energy and action going on all around this property. Wonder what's happened. Oh, almost went in. Handy effort, that one. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. This one started out on a good line. Ah, that's frustrating. This is a bogey putt coming up. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Moving down the leaderboard after that hole. This hole here is a par four.
This is a good time to get hot with the tournament on the line. Well, Rich, this player is certainly making moves up the leaderboard, aren't they? Absolutely nice push on this final round. Still needs to keep the foot on the gas, continue making birdies if they have any hope of winning. This one needs to kick left. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Needed to take a little less club on that approach. They need to get up and down from here. Just one stroke off the lead. A little excitement going on right now. Well, these are the kind of putts that bring out the best in players. Do you think this person's clutch? We're certainly going to find out momentarily, Luke. Ooh. And this next putt, it's for bogey. The putt goes in, and that's back-to-back -back bogeys. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. Currently at three under for the event. And as this player begins their final hole, they're two shots off the lead. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Second shot here at the 18th. Getting ready to play their third. Just a couple back from our leader.
really had that shot dialed in. Well struck. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Always rooting for this player, Luke. I hope this one goes. And that will do it. His work is done here. Well, Rich, we had high expectations for this player early, but sadly, no win in the end. No, they just couldn't quite get their game going in the final round. Unfortunately, comes up a little bit short, but what can I say? Another solid performance. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.